Я готов. Welcome to Delaware Museum of Fairfield. This is a place where they show what happens to this region in the years 1792 to 1813. And tonight we will have a candlelight tour to show what happened to native people because the museum is celebrating its 50th, 50th anniversary. Welcome. which uh, reenacts uh, the 1812 battle of Tecumseh and the defeat of Tecumseh and the, the skirmishes between the British and the English or the British and the Americans. And this is coins. Nobody does, uh, that's a knife. a knife. Nobody does um, mm -hmm. beadwork that well anymore. Rarely you'd find. Look at this one. That's all beadwork. <laughs> An old maple syrup jar which was excavated by Protestant missionaries. So you can still see maple syrup traces on it. Here you can see how they made the syrup wow. from maples, how they boiled it. Marion Fair. was already when they crossed the river and rebuilt their lives there. Made of? It, that one's made of reeds mm -hmm. with birch bark on the top. Oh, yeah. That one's made of canvas. We would have got canvas from the British Navy. Mm -hmm. Okay. But these, those are British tents. Okay. But the, that, that, no, that, that, and that are wiki ups. The reason that they gave us that so that we could move fast. Mm. Because the army at that time could not move fast, but we could. I see. So how long does it take to put one up like this? Half an hour. Half an hour. Such a beautiful long hour. Looks very complicated. Very much. Mm. And I could get eight people in their city. On how many sleeping? Six. Six? Half an hour. Oh, Mind you, I have to sleep under the door, but. <laughs> but five people easily. Oh, yeah. yeah. Four, what? no problem. What about the ventilation? Like, the that is through the roof. Okay. Okay. That uh, hide comes off. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there is a hole about like that through the roof. Great. And if it's really, really hot, what we can do is we roll up the bottom mm. about that far and let the air go through. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Oh. 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 Ha <laughs> ha 
Ray and Actors, and I would like to introduce themselves. Your name is? David Morris. David Morris. And Michelle Cadeau. Michelle Cadeau. I play uh, Chikomi, and my name is Chris Cameron. Okay. Yeah. Now I play Tecumseh usually in the video. And uh, I don't know if you remember this, but I think I've met you. Thanks, so. in very uh, familiar. At the um, uh, Sportsman Center. Yes. We did. Yes. We did. That's, we that's wonderful. That's yeah. yeah. So I remember. Oh, it's a small See? Got a good memory. <laughs> yeah, that's anyway. Right. Um, this winter. Last please, week. please explain to my friend here of your reenacting. Okay. Well, that's an interesting. Where do we begin? Well, in 1812, of course, 1812 to 14, there was a very large war that went on here. The Americans were trying to take the British territory that would later become Canada. And at that time, the British were very busy fighting this little short Napole uh, Frenchman called Napoleon. They couldn't send many red coat British troops over here. So the Americans said, it's merely a matter of marching and the rest of the continent will be ours. But they forgot something. They hadn't been treating First Nations people very well in the States. Where the only good Indian was a dead one, basically. And um, <clears throat> so Tecumseh was a very famous native where he and his brother, called the Prophet, gathered together warriors from the Gulf of Mexico to the Great Lakes from almost 30, over 30 different nations. And then he took the hand of the British king and said, we'll be your friend and we'll help you protect your land if you will help us get some of ours back. So throughout the War of 1812, the British with the assistance of First Nations allies were able to stop the Americans from taking over what later would become Canada. And without their help, this would be a state, not a province today. It's pretty likely. There was thousands of warriors in various times coming and going that fought as allies to the British or Northern Europe. That's what we represent in our group, the different natives that fought with Tecumseh as allies to the British during the War of 1812. That kind of explains what we did. So we're in a lot of reenacting battles like we were in today. Yeah. Um, no! My native name is Blue Little Bear, formerly known as La Blue. And uh, who are you? What do you do here? I'm a reenactor of one of the Kamsa's fathers of 1812. And why do you do it? I, one way is to teach the people to understand where our people come from and to show other native people it's okay to keep this culture alive and not let it die. Because my, many native people think this power is the only way to keep a history alive. You can also do it right now. You can keep the history alive too by sharing it. The oral history that way. And you got a new gun? Yeah. So, what's the story of this rifle? And this was a gift to me by my friend, my brother, or my uncle, I call him too. His name is Kaha, means wind in Seneca. And he, when I was at his house, we're sitting on the lodge, and he says, he says you're admiring that rifle, my nephew? I'm like, yes. He says, take that down. I took it down. He says, that's yours. Oh, it's wonderful. So what's your hope about this rifle and this sport? I'm hoping to get my first deer and tan its hide with the old way of the brain tanning and then make my first pair of traditional leggings out of brain tan leather and then eat the meat and make the bones and tools like the ancestors would have done. Mm. Recycle everything and not waste anything. Good luck. Tecumseh had many different 
nations uh, within his group. So the nation that I represent, the Miami, were uh, very reluctant actually. They didn't want to be part of Tecumseh as one of his followers. And near the end of the war they became part of it. So um, each one of us take on one different nation. And so mine is the, uh, the Miami people. And hence we, we all dress according to who we are and, and who we represent as well. Now, Miami, Miami in English. That's, that's the Miami. <laughs> yeah. Miami yeah. 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 I was just wondering, uh, yeah. the Miami. Yeah. Miami. Yeah. With, with, with that, I just thinking because during that time in the Florida, there was a lot of people. That was actually the very first, uh, the first wave of small. Commander, it's cold and it's not mine. <laughs> Parley. 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 <laughs> I've <laughs> got nothing but a utility knife. I'm not armed. I have no powder. Oh, your people. The lady of the village. Give me time. Go safely. How much time do I have? You have one hour. One hour? One hour. I've got babies. There's babies in the village. You have two hours. Nightfall. To the village. Nightfall. We'll leave fires burning and food in the pots. Give us nightfall. Not till nightfall. Nightfall. Thank you, sir. Your honor, and my thanks to your president. May I say one more thing, sir? May I speak? Yes. The dead shall rise! <laughs> <laughs> Actually became extinct. How many nations in that region? Quite a lot. For instance, there's an entire Erie nation south of Lake Erie, the Longa. They were near yeah. Brian's Big There's many nations that went oh, west. The Bandan all died. And the first Europeans, Lewis and Clark, came out there, and the next, and then within a few years, they were all dead. A few of them were left. Their enemies came and finished off the rest. Yeah, closer to so, 50%. Yeah, yeah. All yeah. nations died as a result oh, of yeah. white men. And, it, and, and it, as a result of European diseases, they figure about 9 out of 10 people, 90%, died within the first couple of centuries. There was more people living here 500 years ago by far than was living in Western Europe. And that's misunderstood. People think, like, well, this is an empty continent. We came up, no, no, it was a very full continent, yeah. quickly emptied. Yeah. Mostly by European sneezing. Mm. In the my, diseases, yeah. yeah. In my studies, it was, it was over 30 million people North, Central, yes, South that's America. Right, that's right. Yeah. And in 150 to 200 yes. years, we were down to less than half a million. That's right. That yeah. much decimation. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. And it's been exactly. a slow rebuilding. There's yeah. a lot more yeah. now than there was after that. Yeah. yeah. Right. Left. Make way. Kentucky right. Make way.